Hello everyone, welcome back to Flourishing Academy, where we dive into learning computer science concepts, web development and design concepts, and also programming with block-based programming language. In today's video, we're going to be focusing on building this lovely form that we're seeing right here, and um, we're going to be using HTML and CSS to achieve that. I hope you enjoy the process, and um, let's get started. All right, so to get started, we are going to be using our ID. In this case, we are going to be using Visual Studio Code. Um, so to install and download Visual Studio Code, you just have to use the link in the bio, in the description, I'm sorry. Uh, so it's, good. it's easy and straightforward. Just download Visual Studio Code and start developing your app. So one of the things you would like to do after downloading Visual Studio Code is to, you know, install live server live server if you need a detailed explanation on how to install visual studio code please use the comment section below so that i can actually help you out um, in doing that okay all right so you know install live server because we're going to be using these to view our web app all right let's get started so i'm going to create um i'm just going to call it form dot html and then you press enter. Can we order that right now? So after doing that, uh, so we have a lot of short codes in Visual Studio, Visual Studio Code. Uh, we are going to be looking at that together. So the first one is you're going to do um, the exclamation mark, and then you press tab, and then it should give you uh, the structure of your web app. Okay, so as you can see, we have the doc tab, we have the HTML. We're not going to go into details of that because I believe that we are not absolute beginners you know we have a little knowledge of html and we just want to you know write one or two codes together okay so the purpose remember is to view this lovely um form right here and then we are going to see how we're going to do that so the html code for that so what i want to achieve is i want to have my form to be inside this div I'm going to be a little bit fast, so uh, so for now, I don't want to send the form to anywhere, so I'm going to keep it like this, and um, I want to have information, right? So before that, I, I'm going to call the title. I can use the H3 tag, and I'm going to say employee registration, something like that. As you can see, so we have the div tag. Remember what we call div tags? So div tags are like container, flexible container that we can, you know, wrap up your element into. So in this case, we want our forms to be inside a div tag. Okay. All right. That's it. So we have the form right here. And now we are going to be adding our element. So the first one I'm going to be using is um, the first name, right? So I'm just going to go right here and say label. And that's it. So I can say, um, automatically it has done that for me f name exactly that's how i want it but i don't want to break i don't want to be our tag okay now we have a label we have to put the input so this time around it's going to be uh the type is going to be text and the id actually needs to be aligned with um the four attributes okay telling it okay this is for f name and then um, for my own case, I'm going to leave it as F name also. All right. And you also want to add values to it. Okay. Value. And I'm going to call that F name still. All right. So we've done that. That's the second part. So what I'm going to do is now for first name, I'm going to copy and paste because it's the same thing for last name. So this time I'm going to do L name and it's going to be last name and um, I'm going to change this one also to L name, L name, L name and um, L name. So we have that for the first name and last name. So let's save our work right now and see how far we've gone. 
all right so we have something like that so it's not styled we're still doing the basic html um so the next part is for us to um look at what we have right now um so we have first name and last name we have to add the country but in this case now we're going to be using the select tag okay so let's do that because we have to click and you know receive the drop down so you're going to go right there and then you're going to do the same thing label uh, so for label we need a country right so we're going to call it for country and um we're going to change this to country yeah it's going to be country and now but because we have a drop down menu right so whenever you see a drop down menu you're going to use a uh, select for that so <laughs> all right so i have a chat but i have i have something that is actually helping me for that but i would advise you you know go straight to the point by tapping on that for now so now the select name would be actually the same name that we have given the label in this case is country so i'm going to say country uh the id would be now we can say country and um so we can have the options so we're going to have options and now the value now it depends on the kind of value that you want so in this case uh we want our values to be yeah so we're going to say usa canada and then you close the option tag okay and um we could just use three for now you know uh, mexico mm, we can do option um nigeria because i'm from nigeria also nigeria and then we can add the last one we don't have to do a lot okay uh we for now options um australia australia and australia all right so we've been able to create the we've been able to create the form and now let's check it out so you save your work right now and you check it out on the web page so we have that so if you click on that but you see we have different options right there now some of the countries are written let's go so now we need to do the last part so i wanted to try the last part by itself you can take a pause uh, to check how to do this it's almost the same thing but this time around it's just we're changing the levels all right welcome back so if you tried it and then you were able to do it the same way so the only thing you just have to do is just to copy and paste this one and then you just change the value in this case it's going to be entry level sorry employee level and then you're going to use um, a different value for this and then make sure that it is related to the select you see so the four attribute is taking employee so the name has to be the same you know and then the id also has to be the same so that you can actually assign it to this label all right so let's save our work right now and see what we have and now if you check your work so you can see we have everything so you we have you can select any of these guys you can also select any of these guys and um that is the first step of the html uh trying to build this um lovely page so in the next tutorial we're going to be totally exploring the css of how to achieve this i hope you enjoy this if you enjoy that please like share and comment in the comment section below and i will be dropping the part two which is the css part in the next video stay blessed and keep flourishing bye